Hey, what it is, man? This your boy, Lil Yacho, man. I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. Gang. I'm from a city where all you hear about is gunfight. These living in running around like they don't love life. They addicted to the streets. They. All right, we got Lil Yacho off the porch with us today. What it do? What it do, man? How you feeling today, man? I'm doing feeling, I'm feeling real good. Real good, man. Happy to be here. Yeah. Atlanta. You know what I'm talking about? I got the whole gang with me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, visit us from St. Pete, man. Yeah, St. Pete in the building. 727. Yeah. What do you got working on here in Atlanta for this trip? Um, well, I actually just came in a couple of days ago. Um, supposed to be doing a uh, feature with Pee Wee Longway. Got a okay. good relationship with him. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I met them through my cousins and shit um, some years back. Um, I just, I'm just going around the clubs, man, promoting the uh, song I got. You know what I'm saying? I'm a new single and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm rocking, I'm putting that bitch out right now. Just working, working the clubs and shit, rubbing elbows, getting more relationships. That's it. Yeah. How you like working here in Atlanta compared to back at home? It's a lot of love here. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Like people embrace you more, faster. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Yeah. So what's life like in South St. Pete, man? St. Pete. And that shit fucked up, man. I ain't gonna lie. It's real fucked up. Like, niggas ain't got no sense of direction. You feel me? They don't really, really have a mindset of knowing where they want to go at in life. You feel me? You know, you got your ball players and shit. You got, you know, your rappers and shit. But, and you got your people that go to school. But for the most part, man, St. Pete is just full of motherfuckers that's just like, you know, middle class people trying to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Struggling. You know what I'm saying? Same shit that go on everywhere else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know a lot of people when they hear about St. Peter, they just think about the beach. They don't the think beach. about the other side of that the, shit the fucked city. Up. It's shit that look like the beach, like like tourist shit that's fucked up and thawed. Like my neighborhood, my neighborhood was, it, it was fucked up at once once a time, but they, they fixed it up, you know what I'm saying? Got it looking all nice and shit. And it always looked the nice palm trees and shit like that, but it get down over there. Oh, yeah. Definitely. How old were you when you first jumped off the porch? Say it again. How old were you when you first jumped off the porch? I want to say about 11, about 11, 12. You know what I'm saying? Reckless. Thugging with my niggas, you feel me? Stealing cars, breaking in houses and shit like that. You feel me? Started grinding. Ain't really know how to do that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know. What was one of the biggest life lessons you learned while growing up down there? Life lessons? Just watch the company I keep. You know what I'm saying? Like, all my partners I grew up with, most of them went to prison, you feel me? So, like, I watched that shit. I seen niggas make moves, you know what I'm saying? And I just went the other way, like, trying to find my own little route, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of, I watched niggas, I, I can't do that. I ain't doing that, you know what I'm saying? Thank God, knock on wood, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be in no blues or nothing like that, but you feel me? It's rough like that. There you go. Yeah. So how long you been making music now? Oh shit, feel like my whole life, really. Hmm. Uh, man, since I've been off the porch. Yeah. What have motivated you to start? JDC, different programs, getting locked up and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just started writing music. Who were some of your musical influences back then? Oh man, Wayne was definitely one. Fucked up by Wayne, I ain't gonna cap. Um, uh, T.I. Uh, Tupac, definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, I can name a lot, a lot of motherfuckers, man. I listen to a lot of music, a lot of different music, too. Yeah. So when did you start to take it serious and figure out you can have a career doing this? Like, probably 2007. I got out my last program and shit. I was doing music before that, but like when I got out the program and shit, I, I got, got into that shit, too. That shit serious. I found a love for it. You know what I'm saying? Me and my partner Beach and shit, we used to be posting up at the motherfucking store selling our CDs and shit. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get on, trying to grind, get that shit out of the mud with it. Yeah. How'd you get the name Lil Yacha? Man, that's crazy. My big homie Huge, man. <laughs> that nigga a fucking fool, man. Yo, man, um, you know what I'm saying? I was going through some shit, like, just, I had a lot of shit going on in my mind, all, and I wasn't focused on music, you feel me? And I was just, I was, I was going my house, I was watching shit that's going on, got color all in my house, doing the most, falling behind trends and shit. I went, you feel me? He, he went to calling me little Yacho, like, man, this nigga here, the new hot sauce. <laughs> this nigga, the new hot sauce. It sounds like some sauce, don't it? Lil Yacho, man. Like, yeah, just stuck. Everybody called me that shit. Hmm. Lil Yacho, nah. 
How long you been going by that name now? Probably about what, about two, three years? Two years, two and a half years, two, three years, something like that. Okay. Okay. Um, last year, your sister and your aunt passed away, right? Uh, well, not last year, but a couple years back. Okay. Yeah. How'd you deal with all that? Uh, that shit was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really want to do no music. S separated myself from the team and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like oh, that shit was fucked up. Who was there that you kind of had support from and kind of encouraged you to get back to making the music? Music? Really? I had people in my corner and shit, but that's the only thing that like bring a nigga down, you know, keep a nigga down, you know, feet to the ground, you feel me? So I, I would say music, it wouldn't be no person, mm -hmm. nobody. Who were you listening to then? Me. Um, Rod Wave, um, uh, just a lot of lot of different people. I listen to a lot of local music, you know what I'm saying? But uh, Wayne, of course, you know what I'm saying? I, I stay up, up to date with his shit. But just, you know, anything, anything, music. Yeah. Would you say you're fully focused on music now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. So what's the music scene like back at home right now? St. Pete on the motherfucking map. We on the map. Why do you think people overlooked the talent in St. Pete for so long until recently? Smaller city. You know what I'm saying? Um, it ain't like Atlanta where, you know, everybody pulling each other up to get to the top. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it's a lot of fucking talent there. I can tell you that. But it, I don't know. I would guess because the area where we at, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, they look at Miami first, uh, Central Florida, Orlando. You know what I'm saying? But that shit don't even matter no more. Do you feel like the artists out there are real supportive of each other? Mm -mm. I just said that. Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> mm -mm. What's it going to take for everyone to come together? Me. When I get on, showing love, putting niggas on, giving niggas jobs, shit like that. Yeah. So how'd you link up with uh, Reefa Gang? That's family. Okay. There ain't no linking up. So yeah. you've always been reefing. Yeah. Yes. All right, talk to us about this single, uh, Another Way. Well, really, it's like pretty much what I was just talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like me watching the niggas on around and watching them make the moves that they made and me finding another way and going another way and not taking the same steps and the same route they took. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been surprised at all that how many people are fucking with that song? Fuck yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's real. It, it's a real ass song. So, but I am surprised, really. You know what I'm saying? What type of feedback have you been getting? Uh, where can I find this on iTunes? Uh, I need this right now, man. Well, I, hey, man, I just saw this on a fucking young boy ad. I love you. You're gonna blow up, man. I can't wait to have a million views. <laughs> Shit like that. Yeah. 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 Who produced that single? Actually, though, I ain't gonna lie to you, but I was on YouTube vibing, like I always do. I found him, found the beat. I ain't even hit him. Hit, I actually did hit him up. I hit, it, I hit him up. He never reached back, got to me about the record. I'm like, man, I need this bitch. This bitch gonna be fire. But um, I just jumped on this shit. So, hey, bro, you watching this bitch? Another way is out right now. Fuck with me. I'm fucking with that beat, my nigga. Shout out to you. Please. <laughs> yeah, you got the music video out right now, too. Yes, sir. About seven days ago, about six, seven days ago. Okay. Did you shoot that back at home? Um, yeah, I, yeah, I did. Okay. Father's Day, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Came down, seen my family. We hung out in uh, Orlando as a family and shit for about 20 days, 30 days, something like that. Oh, shit. You no, know, shit. Got some work in while I was doing it. All right. Talk to us about your upcoming project, 10,000 Hours. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like, I think it, that shit, like, a whole bunch of shit that's bottled up from when I started doing music. Um, finding myself, finding a niche, um, finding who I am. Feel me? Um, that's why it's really no no direction. It's just great music on that bitch. I got I got a story to tell. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking on my story, other people's story. You know what I'm saying? Shit I seen, some shit I've been through. 
Can you explain the title, why you chose that title? Um, it take like 10,000 hours to um, be perfect at something, you feel me? I feel like I'm I'm there. Yeah, yep. I got it together. Will you have any features on this project? Um, actually, I, I I did a feature with Sean Kingston. Oh, really? Yeah, I did. Yeah, um, it's a dope ass record. Hmm. But I'm debating if I'm gonna put it on the project though. Yeah. So, oh yeah, matter of fact, I'm tripping, man. My nigga Lottie, man. Cap that. My nigga Lottie, I got my nigga Lottie on that bitch, man, too. We just shot the video of some crazy shit. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, man. Him, he the only person on that motherfucker, though. Hmm. Would you put Long Way on it, too, if you uh, knock out this collab? Fuck yeah. Okay. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hmm. Definitely. That's my nigga. Yeah. What about producer-wise? Who have you been working with? Oh, man. Uh, Young Mercy. Um, I done worked with uh, Bricks, the man. Excuse me, um, a couple Florida producers, um, like Seven, um, uh, Fanger Lee, um, quite a few, quite a few people. Yeah. Federo, he out here in Atlanta as well. Hard as, um, hard as engineer and, um, producer. Will your song, uh, SLN make it on the, vi uh, onto the project? Yeah. Okay. It's the last song on that bitch. What yeah. can you tell us about that song? Shit, man. All my niggas that shit, man, we close knit. We ain't got no pussy shit around us. You know what I'm saying? We want no squad niggas around us. You feel me? This shit authentic. It's real. You feel me? We don't want, we don't want to see it. You feel me? I was telling my cousin the other day. You know what I'm saying? About, about just some shit that's going on in the camp. Hey, get that shit from around. You feel me? Dead ass. So squad of niggas is not in this circle. <laughs> real. <laughs> You got a release date picked out for the project? Um, yeah, I do. I was going to do it uh, what, the next month on the 9th. The 4th. I always say the 9th. It's crazy as fuck. <laughs> so September fuck. 4th? The 4th. Okay. Yeah. That's what I wanted. That's when I want to do it. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what it's planning to be. Okay. Uh, so you recently dropped a music video for I Cannot Breathe Again. Yeah. Um, so what was your reaction when you saw the George Floyd video? I'm like, that shit fucked up. Um, that shit crazy. That's a whole nother, that's a whole nother script, man. Like, to see it happening and seeing it being filmed is like, what the fuck is going on? You know what I'm saying? Cause I got a little bit of both sides, you know what I'm saying? Growing up, I got some of the old, the old cats, you feel me? And I get, I got to grow up with the new generation as well, you know what I'm saying? So like, Back then, like I, when I was younger, I ain't that shit. When I ain't see that shit, ain't nobody pulling out cameras and seeing when bitches getting shot up and cut up and bitches. You know what I'm saying? So that shit was fucked up. Yeah. What type of feedback did you get on that song and video? I got a lot of feedback. Uh, a lot. I got a lot more feedback for the video. <laughs> the boy, dad killed that shit. What was going on in the video? Um. I had went to a protest down there on Black Lives Matter protest in San Diego. That shit was raw as fuck. I was running down there to do a video. And then when I got into that shit, I was like, damn, this shit is for real. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I was right there with it. You know what I'm saying? The people honking their horns, showing love. And it was a moment. It was a moment. It was a moment. Yeah. All right. So you got the new project dropping on the 4th, not the 9th. <laughs> what else you working on right now? Um, I'm just working on records. I'm working on building relationships, you know what I'm saying? Um, putting out singles, just getting that everything together, you know what I'm saying? Getting it all together. Yeah. Do you know what your next single is going to be? Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm on the fans and shit to, to, to choose it. So you're just going to put out the project and let them kind of pick yeah. it? Gotcha. Yeah. I, I mean, I already then released a couple of videos mm -hmm. from the project already, so not intentionally, I just did it. but. It looked like I tried to do it, but but uh yeah, I got like two yeah two video two videos so far. Okay. For it. All right. Yeah. All right. Any shout outs before we get you out of? Yeah, man. Shout out to my city. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my mama. You feel me? Shout out to my game. You feel me? Shout out to everybody that's fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? And fuck who ain't fucking with me. You did. It's little Yacho. You know what I'm talking about? Forever. You did. 2020 is to take over. Shout out to Scary Boy Music Group. You did.
I'm from a city where all you hear about is gunfight These little niggas running around like they don't love life They addicted to the streets, stay in that drug life They put your man in the box you